Well, g'day guys, it's the Aussie Gamer. Yeah, I've gone back to that name. Seems to be the most popular name that I'm used by. And I had a lot of comments from people saying, mate, you should just use it. So, I've gone back to it. Now, I've gone back to another um, Project Cars video. Now, I'm loving this game. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I'm really enjoying it, even with its bugs. And it's it feels like it's still in a, not its final state. It's even um, coming soon in the menu, so there's still bits to be added. Uh, but the game is no, it's it's good. I'm hearing that they're going to be addressing a lot of the AI performance issues and stuff like that in a future patch, which is good to hear. But um, one thing that really does upset me is the fact that they've already announced they're going to be basically doing a um, Kickstarter for Project Cars 2. Me, I think that's just too early. Too early after them just releasing this game and it doing so well in the sales. Why do they really need to do a Kickstarter? To me, it looks to me like they're just wanting to make a lot more money out of people. Especially, and that brings me up to the second part that I do not like about this announcement of doing a um, Kickstarter for Project Cars 2 already. Though it does sound good, is the fact that the prices are nearly tripled in price. Now, I remember when I originally put money into this game I got I was part of the, the startup series of oh, series what it kickstarter whatever they want to call it what they called it back then it was like forty dollars Australian for me to do so now for the basic and that wasn't even the and that mind you was for second tier not the um, lowest tier now the to get the lowest tier kind of support in Project Cars 2 it's equivalent of around $110 Australian and that is just too much I'm sorry guys uh, as much as I would love to get involved $110 nah too much and so soon after releasing project cars as far as I'm concerned a lot of the features you're saying which will be added to project cars 2 could easily be added to project cars through DLC and wouldn't have to wait two to three years for that game and I just think you know um, concentrate I think too many games especially car games release um, too much too soon uh, I love my Codemasters F1 races but new game every year it's a bit too much and this now um, prospect of Project Cars 2 already when I think they need to finish Project Cars first before doing so. I think if they had maybe announced it in six months' time at a much more reasonable price, then you'd probably find, because Project Cars has done so well, they'll get a lot of interest, and they wouldn't have to have the price up so high. And that, I think, is just wrong. I think they've done a big mistake in that area, and um, I'm hoping that they review that. I don't think so. As I said, look, it's a great system, and I said I like the games, and I love Project Cars. It's probably the most played racing game that I play at the moment, and the effects and the rain and stuff like that is really, really good. If you do see a bit of stuttering in the video in the background, it's actually the capture software. It's Shadowplay that I use to capture it, and when it runs, it does tend to cause a little bit of slowdown every now and then. But you know, Project Cars is a great game. Project Cars 2, um, doing a... Um, Kickstarter so soon after the release of Project Cars. I think that's a mistake. The price that they're charging is too much. They really need to finish this game before really trying to... Uh, I know you guys normally start a bit on um, the next game once you finish one, but I really think they need to concentrate on finishing this one properly. And a lot of features I believe they could add to this through DLC, which they'll make just as much money as um, doing through Kickstarter. I know I would happily pay money for DLC to add Ferraris, Lamborghinis, extra tracks, different series, stuff like that. Stuff that can be added to this game without having to go down the lens that they have. Anyway, I'm the Aussie Gamer. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys all later.